Hi everyone, it's Mike and I wanted to provide all of you with a day three update on NASTATForce and our change.org petition. You guys are amazing. We are at 700 signatures and counting, not to mention the hundreds of comments that have been produced on the change.org petition. We are well on our way to sending a strong message to the New Albany Board of Education and incoming Superintendent Michael Sawyers that this is a process that has to be corrected. The $625, $425 amounts that our high school and middle school students are paying are just too much. You guys, again, have done a tremendous job of signing and sharing your story about why these fees are hurting you. So keep it up. Email friends, email relatives, share it with your friends at work. You have to continue to do this amazing work if our voices are to be heard at the board level. Now two things. There are two board meetings in May and I want everyone to write these down. Monday, May 9th is a work session and then two weeks from May 9th, which I believe is May 25th, is the board regular board meeting where they will vote on the five-year forecast. These are two important dates because it sets the budget for next year. And if there's any reduction to be made, it must be made next month and be a part of the five-year forecast. So we need to continue to send these messages to each of the five board members. Again, Board President Laura Kohler, Board Vice President John McClellan, and Board Members Debbie Kalinowski, Phil Darrow, and Paul Newmoff. Each of them have an email on the district website, and I encourage you all to email them as well and tell them your stories. I spent an hour this morning just reading through some of the enormous amount of comments that have been produced on our petition and it is absolutely heart-wrenching on many levels. So many people not being able to afford these fees. We need to continue to advocate for our kids and our students. I can't help but think of New Albany alumni Darren Lee who will be in Chicago tonight for the NFL draft. I knew Darren when he was in high school and he was a passionate kid. He played three sports. Now granted, he did not play basketball his junior or senior year, but when he entered New Albany High School, he played football, obviously, and he was a star on the track team. Many of his uh, events were just to keep him in shape, but he could not have done that at such ridiculous amounts of money that we're charging our kids now. Darren had a dream. His dream will be achieved tonight when he is a first-round draft pick in the NFL draft. We'll all be proud knowing that he's from New Albany. I just can't imagine another Darren Lee sitting in New Albany not being able to run track or play basketball because those fees are at $625. That would be just awful. So do it for Darren. Do it for the kid that's sitting in a classroom who cannot participate because his family can't afford it. This is not right and we're doing a tremendous job of showing the board that we speak in numbers. Keep up the great work and let's get to a thousand signatures by the end of the week. Keep sharing, and again, I'll keep updating. As always, everyone, keep the spirit alive, and go Eagles!